Alright, hey guys, what's up, it's me. I'm finally back in my house, not in my car anymore. The The era of car videos is hopefully over. If you like the video, subscribe. I wanted to cover the story like two weeks ago. My dog is tweaking, this is awesome, shutting the door. I like. I wanted to cover this two weeks ago, but I couldn't because things were really busy. But now that we're here, I think we. if you can hear my dog, that'd be so sick. Now that we're here, I think we just dive in. I'm going to read the article. I'm going to read the entire news article. It'll also be up on screen so we can all fully get just a real assessment of what happened. And then I will share my thoughts. And if you if you would like to share your thoughts in the comments, please do. A man who was convicted of pointing a gun at Burger King drive through worker who wouldn't accept drugs for payment and later shooting at people elsewhere the same night has been sentenced to 143 years in prison. Prosecutors who announced the sentence Thursday said the drive through incident was the beginning of a series of crimes Eugene Robertson carried out in the Denver suburb of Aurora on October 17, 2022. No one was wounded. In April, a jury found Robertson guilty of 17 crimes, including 8 counts of attempted murder. The sentences for many of the crimes were stacked on top of each other, leading to a long sentence. Robertson, 40, had faced a maximum sentence of more than 400 years when he was sentenced on August 9th. We consider this 143-year sentence justice for the multiple victims he put fear in that night. Jurors recognize the severity of the crimes this defendant committed. We believe the judge imposed an appropriate sentence. Eric Ross, a spokesperson for the 18th Judicial District Attorney John, John Kellner, said Friday. After Robertson pointed the gun at the drive through worker, prosecutors said he walked into a convenience store across the street and pointed a gun at the head of a clerk. When Robertson saw there was surveillance video camera there, he shot at the screen and left, then shot two people outside the parking lot. No, he shot towards, he didn't shoot. Sorry, gotta set the record straight for Eugene. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. First off, look, I love Burger King. A lot of people have this thing where they're like, oh yeah, Burger King sucks, it's terrible. I don't know if it's just my area, but Burger King is pretty good. If you were to ask me if I would rather go to Burger King or McDonald's, I am saying I'm saying Burger King, right? The fries are thicker. I like the, like Burger King burgers are wet. I don't know what I think it's just mayonnaise. I don't know what's on those burgers. I like the sauce. Burger King's okay. Like what drugs did I really want to know what drugs he tried paying with? Because am I crazy or are drugs not expensive? And like and even then like. I'm- I'm just assuming it's crack. This- this just seems like crackhead behavior. Like, I- I- I feel like that's more expensive than the burger. Has there ever been, like, an instance in the past where a drug addict has actually chosen food over drugs? Like, I- like, legitimately, this seems crazy. That he- That he went to a- <laughs> Like, imagine- imagine being- Imagine being the drive through worker. And it's like, I'm assuming this is like the middle of the night. You, like, you're tired, you want to go home, you don't want to be at work anymore. And then this crackhead shows up and he's like, yeah, let me get a Whopper. That's, I don't know how much a Whopper is. That I'm just going to say $7 because burger expensive. That's $7, sir. I don't have $7. Do you want this cocaine? I can't take that. And then he pulls a gun out at you. Like, that, I can't, you can't even, like, prepare. That's such a crazy thing to happen. There's legitimately just absolutely no way to prepare. Like, you can never prepare. Of all the things that could happen, that is so, like, so far down the list, you can just never expect that. What else does it say on this article? The Sentinel Colorado, the Sentinel Colorado in Aurora previously reported that a witness at the convenience store told the police there seemed to be something off about Robertson and that he was talking about God and carrying a Bible with a purple cover. He had a Bible on him? Later that night, a woman who was friends with Robertson called 911 to report that he had fired shots after she refused to open the door of her apartment where she was with several people. Police spotted Robertson at the woman's apartment complex. He hid behind some bushes. <laughs> so the police get there. The police get there. They get to him. And he... With his Bible and his gun, he hides in the bushes and then gets arrested. Okay. 
Okay, I'm back. You wouldn't know I left. I mean, unless you noticed the cut. Okay, let's just... So he could, so not only did he commit, like, several crimes that crimes crimes that night, he also committed blasphemy. If he had the Bible when he went into the convenience store, that means he had the Bible in his... So this Bible was assumingly within reach of his hand when he pulled the gun on, on the drive through guy at Burger King. That's crazy. That... Like, now, let's... So, something was off about Robertson. I wonder what it was. Do you think it was drugs? Probably. I'd imagine if he tried paying with drugs. He had drugs on him. You don't just... You you don't just go, oh, yeah, my drugs. And you don't... He he was on the drugs. There is no shot he was not on the drugs. But 143 years seems kind of crazy. I mean... Well, no, I mean, they did say this was multiple things on top of each other. I, you know, I really hope Eugene... I hope Eugene gets through this with... With the Lord, because clearly he's a very religious man. I mean, he brought his... He had a purple cupboard, but he blinged out his Bible. He didn't just go to a store and buy a random Bible. He had this Bible, and he was like, I want to put it inside of a purple case. That's what I want to do. He respected his Bible. Clearly, well, he was on drugs. You can't fault him for disrespecting the Lord when he was clearly coked out. Maybe, I mean, that is technically a sin. Are drugs a sin? I'd, I feel like drugs would be a sin. Let's get a live Google search right now. Are, dr are drugs, are drugs a sin? The Bible puts using drugs in, ooh, Eugene, Eugene, you can't, Eugene, you can't be on drugs with your Bible and your gun. The gun, I mean, he already... Already committed blasphemy when he went into the convenience store with a Bible and the gun and pointed the gun at the guy's head. But, I mean, it, he's on drug. This is a double whammy. He's going to jail and potentially got kicked out of heaven. That's crazy. But, um... God, see, like, dude... Like, look at, look at Eugene's... Eugene doesn't look like... I mean, he has face tattoos. He does... You know, I, Eugene, there's a timeline where Eugene didn't do this, and Eugene would get to walk, it's so funny that his name is Eugene Robertson, I don't know why, but Eugene is a really funny name. What did he try giving, it had to either be cocaine or meth, there's just no, it was either coke, meth, could he have tried paying with weed, I just, okay, I don't, I don't do drugs. I don't know how much drugs cost, right? I, but like from my understanding, like I, I, I thought drugs were expensive. Why would you? What could like he he was he was losing money. Like if he if the guy were to if there were a timeline where the Burger King employee did take his drugs, he would like he would have lost money. Am I crazy? I don't know how much these things cost, but. Okay, but like four hundred. So what happened to the four hundred years? He only got a hundred and thirty, a hundred and forty-three. What happened to the four hundred? I don't know. Um, Eugene's that maybe he'll get out of jail one day. I don't know, and maybe when he gets out of jail, he'll run it back. But um, this was just a crazy story that I I read about and I really wanted to share. Um. If you liked the video, subscribe. Maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll start doing this now. More news talk. I'll just find really funny news stories, and we'll just talk about this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now. I've been streaming a lot more, guys. Literally yesterday, I streamed for like five hours. I this is probably not gonna be a normal thing, but it could be. I don't know. It was awesome. This happened. There's lights in the car. I know it's awesome. Can you steer the wheel? Can you steer while I like push? Where am I? No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm dead. I killed it. Killed me. <laughs> you see my dead body? No, 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 no. Jaden. How did you die? Jaden, the car is. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just played a clip. You never expected that. None of you were ready for that when you watched this. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye!